Hello, I'm Alex Mauskop. I'm a neurologist here in New York City, and I'm the director of the New York Headache Center. Nerves cover the entire body. There is no spot in your body that doesn't have nerve endings. That's why we have, we have good sensation. When you touch someone, you feel the touch. And so there are two kinds of, two major kinds of nerves. One is the sensory nerves that allows you to feel things, heat, cold, touch. And there are other nerves that move your muscles. That is, nerve comes from the brain through the spinal cord and to the muscle, and the muscle contracts. So your brain has to give the order. So the nerves can be damaged by a variety of conditions. There could be an inflammation of the nerves. Um, there could be compression of the nerve, which often results in painful condition called neuralgia. Um, inflammation of the nerves often occurs due to viral infections, or sometimes for no apparent reason. We sometimes cannot diagnose why some people have what we call peripheral neuropathy. So peripheral neuropathy can occur from well-known conditions such as diabetes can cause peripheral neuropathy. Um, alcoholism can lead to deficiencies that in turn can cause uh, nerve damage. Deficiencies in vitamins such as vitamin uh, B12, thiamine, and other vitamin deficiencies can cause nerve damage. Nerve damage can occur from pressure during surgery or from sleeping on the arm when you're drunk. We have a funny term for that. When you have um, pressure on, on this nerve and you sleep on the bench, um, we call it Saturday night palsy. People often drink too much and they fall asleep on the bench and they exert too much pressure on the nerve and they have difficulty moving the hand. Usually that recovers pretty quickly.